This is Twisted T. And this is Jim Beam. And when these two get together for a romantic evening, this is what's born, Twisted Tea Whiskey. <laughs> Let's talk about it. So Twisted Tea is a malt beverage drink that is brewed with real tea. It's been out for a long time. It is a great beach drink. It's a great floating down the river on a tube kind of drink. I like to throw it in a Yeti with some ice, enjoy it while I'm barbecuing. And let me tell you something, you're really rolling the dice when it comes to drinking this stuff. That hangover the next day can either be very soul sucking or hey, you woke up pretty good and you had a great day the day before while you were drinking it. So you gotta kind of be careful with it. So when I found out that they were coming out with a whiskey, I was super stoked. Any of you guys that have been kind of watching the channel or that know me know that I'm a little bit of a whiskey connoisseur. I'm not saying I'm a professional that I know it all, but when you combine one of my favorite party drinks with a whiskey, forget about it. I gotta check it out. So here it is right here, Twisted Sweet Tea Whiskey. Comes in at 65 proof, which leaves you at 32.5% alcohol. And what they did is they teamed up with the Beam Corporation. So it's not technically Jim Beam, but it is a whiskey that is distilled out of Jim Beam. Also, this is brewed with sweet tea and it's supposed to have hints of lemon flavor. This guy will hurt your pocketbook at a whopping $14. And I mean, at that price, hey, I'm willing to give it a shot, literally. So that's what we're gonna do here in this video. I would like to taste the sweet tea whiskey, compare it with just what a regular sweet tea tastes like. And then I wanna show you a nice little drink recipe that if you wanna enjoy, a nice mixed cocktail, pretty good. All right, let's do a little AB comparison. In my left hand, I have got the sweet tea whiskey, and in my right hand, I have got the regular twisted tea malt beverage. Just kind of holding them up into the light, you can see that the whiskey is just a little bit darker than the twisted tea malt beverage. I'm gonna start off with just the regular twisted tea. Do a little nosing on it and just just smells like tea. A lot of people that I talk to that actually like this uh, say that they think that it's probably the most tea-like tasting malt beverage, alcoholic, fun drink. Tastes closest to the tea is basically what I'm trying to say. You can get this in a multitude of flavors if you go on to twistedtea.com. They've got it in blackberry, they got it in half and a half, they've got it in raspberry, they've got it in cherry lime. There's probably about six or seven different flavors that you can actually get it. And then of course you get the original hard tea, which is actually what this is. So we're gonna take a little taste and uh, we're gonna compare it to what the whiskey tastes like here. So. <sighs> Tell you what, tastes like I'm getting drunk tonight. That's what it tastes like. No, but just very light, very simple. Uh, it tastes like sweet tea. You cannot taste any alcohol hardly at all, which was what makes these things so dangerous. So make sure you guys are drinking responsibly because it is easy to go through a, a six pack of these in no time, especially on a hot summer day. Like I said, at the beach or on the river or barbecuing or whatever you're doing with the sweet teas, be careful with the twisted teas because they'll catch up with you. Very easy to drink. Just tastes like a delicious, delightful tea. Ooh, that's pretty good. Mm. Yummy. All right, now for the start of the show, the uh, sweet tea whiskey. Let's take a little no sampler here. Whew. Very much more ethanol on the nose, even though it's only 32% alcohol. There's definitely a tea smell to it, but on top of that, you almost get almost kind of like a nail polishy type of a scent to it. Uh, kind of like a generic lemon scent to it. Let's see what she tastes like. Very easy to drink. It does have a little bit of that ethanol kind of bite to it. It's very similar to the malt beverage twisted tea. I can maybe taste just a hint of the bourbon in it, but overall you're getting lemon, that sweet tea, and just a thin layer of, of kind of bourbon whiskey underneath it. Again, you do get that ethanol, but it's not super burning all the way down through. I could easily see this being a popular shot. At $14, it might be worth just grabbing a bottle, and if you have a bunch of people over just for fun, pour some shots of this, it goes down pretty easy. I'm curious to see what it would taste like over ice, which leads in well to this nice little cocktail that I concocted, and I'll share that with you in just a little bit. So I got my rocks glass here. I'm just gonna pour this right in. Kind of mix it around. And I'm willing to bet, I mean, obviously the ice is gonna melt, it's gonna dilute that 32.5 down a little bit, it's gonna make it even that much more easier to drink, it's going to make it that much more dangerous, so. I don't know, I'm a fan. I like it, I think it tastes good. I know smooth is a bad word to kind of use in the whiskey world, but this isn't really a whiskey, not 
technically, right? It's more of a spirit or a liqueur, more like a Southern Comfort, which is also not technically a whiskey, it just kind of has whiskey in it. Not compared taste, but I'm just saying kind of how it's made and mixed and blended and stuff. It is what it says it is. It is a sweet tea whiskey. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty good right there. I can see this on a nice summer day, sitting out on the patio, playing with the doggos, just kind of enjoying life. Let me show you another way to kind of enjoy it if you want to cut it down a little bit. Let's get a little cocktail action going on. So what you want to do is you want to get yourself a nice rocks glass, get it filled up with ice, and then you're gonna take your sweet tea whiskey and you're gonna pour it in just about a third, just about like that. Then get yourself some 7-Up, some Sprite, heck, some ginger ale, whatever kind of uh, light soda that you want to mix in with it. And you're just gonna fill that up another third then go ahead and grab yourself your preferred brand of sweet tea right here I happen to have the golden peak sweet tea and you're gonna top it off just like that grab your little stirring utensil there give it a nice mix and you have got yourself a double sweet tea delight maybe that should be the name of it I haven't even came up with a name for this bad boy yet so maybe you guys could name it throw me some suggestions for the name of this cocktail down in the old uh, comment section there let's give this thing a little whirl here cheers you drink this and you're not at home, you're gonna wanna call an Uber because that is delightful. You can't taste any alcohol at all and it's just delicious. So nice little suggestion for you guys there. As I was kind of doing that AB comparison with the uh, sweet tea and the actual whiskey sweet tea, an idea came to mind. What if we drink them together? Let's see what happens when you drink the twisted sweet tea whiskey with just the regular twisted tea. Somebody call my boss, I'm not coming in tomorrow. <laughs> so interesting enough, all it really did was kind of dampen down that ethanol flavor in the actual sweet tea whiskey. So that's very interesting. They actually go very nice together, which makes sense because it's the same company. They probably use the same tea recipe. So it just blends together very nicely actually. So cheers again. And if the bottles aren't enough and the whiskey's not enough, maybe you want to try getting sweet tea in a bag. That's right a whole bag of sweet tea. You just pop out the little nozzle here. It's kind of like box wine. You can pour it right out of a bag. Good idea for my next YouTube short. Hmm, stay tuned. All right, overall impressions of the sweet tea whiskey. I like it. That's all I can say. Is it a Weller 12? No. Is it a Blanton's? No. Is it a Wild Turkey? No. Is it uh, even Jack Daniels? No. Is it Southern Comfort? Man, I love Southern Comfort, so I'm gonna say no. Is it $14? And if your daughter accidentally knocks a bottle off the shelf and breaks it, you won't be mad at her for it. True story. Yeah, it's 14 bucks. It was an accident. She didn't mean to do it. It did really smell like nail polish, but it doesn't taste like it. It's relatively smooth, tastes like sweet tea with a little bit of lemon and a little bit of bourbon in it. It's as advertised. I think it was actually executed pretty well. I recommend it. I also recommend drinking responsibly. Don't drink and drive, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but, uh, Cheers. I've been a Twisted Tea fan for a long time and I'm a whiskey fan, like I said before. So when I saw it was coming out, I happened to be in one of the few states that they actually rolled this out in. So naturally I had to go try it and I thought it'd be something cool to share with you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I enjoyed making it, <laughs> if you can tell. <laughs> but that's all I got for the review today, guys. You know what I like to say, gotta be kind to each other. You gotta do what makes you happy, even if it's drinking Twisted Tea whiskey. That's it for me. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.